What up though, everyone? So I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase. I'm here to talk about Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr. last night. I gotta say, I was thoroughly entertained by this card. Um, you know, we we started off with, well, actually, let me be clear up front. I didn't see the entire card. Um, I was struggling to find a, a, a feed for it. So I missed the first fight of the main card. So I'm coming in, coming in on the second fight. Um, Jack versus uh, was it McKernan. Um, Jack's winning every round, entertaining, actual, you know, legitimate boxing match, not an exhibition or anything like that. And good fight. You know, um, I had, uh, Jack winning every round and so did the judges. Uh, he won 80, 72. I'm like, cool. So then in between that fight and the, uh, Nate Robinson and Jake Paul fight, I believe YG comes out to perform and I'm like, I'm entertained by this, but I'm also kind of like, man. This is like mad. This got to be mad awkward for like random white folks who were just like, oh, I want to watch uh, Mike Tyson fight. And then they ended up at a rap concert replete with N words being dropped every like 45 seconds. I'm like, man, this is kind of crazy, but it's kind of fun, right? So YG's performing. I'm like, all right, this is cool. I'm, I'm ready to see this fight. So <laughs> the Nate Roberts and the Jake Paul fight, <sighs> man, that was one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. Um, and at the end of the day, I'm sure there are boxing purists out there who are like, this whole thing is a sham and I'm irritated by this, but um, I thought it was fun. Uh, <laughs> and, and Nate Robinson had no business being in a boxing ring. Uh, he looks like when uh, like when, when women are fighting like at, at school, like in the playground, and they're just like, like swinging their fists like that. That's what Nate Robinson looked like. And he's just swinging wildly, so wildly that there were, I think once or twice he fell on his own. It wasn't just because he was hit. It was like he was just doing too much and he just fell. Uh, plowing forward so fast, wild, reckless. It was obvious at some point this guy was going to get caught with a punch. And man, did he get slept. And then Snoop, man. Snoop, so Snoop Dogg's on the commentary and Snoop starts singing, um, what's that song? Precious Lord. Like, <laughs> it was so bad. Snoop's like roasting him the whole time. Uh, Snoop Hilarious on the commentary. I think the biggest takeaway from this event is that Snoop needs to be doing way more uh, <laughs> commentary on sporting events. It was awesome. But, uh, you know, Snoop's, you know, roasts him and shit. He, he falls out. He's asleep. And he was down for a good minute, like to the point where it was like, okay, all jokes aside, is this guy okay? Uh, but, you know, Snoop's roasting him. It's hilarious. Uh, Jake Paul calls out like Conor McGregor and someone else says he's going to knock them out. I can't remember who the second person was. Uh, for the record, Conor McGregor has never been knocked out. Uh, Conor McGregor has lost uh, a handful of MMA fights, and he lost to Floyd Mayweather, but he's never been knocked out. Uh, so I, I don't see a 2-0 and YouTube star being the first person to do it, but um, funny nonetheless. And then um, uh, Snoop performs before the, uh, before the Tyson Jones fight. And uh, for those of you who may not know, uh, Doggy Style is my all-time favorite rap album. It was, actually, it's my all-time favorite album, period. Um, I listen to Doggy Style all the time, still today, uh, all this time after its release. Uh, and I'm a huge Snoop fan because of it. Uh, so getting that Snoop, like this little miniature Snoop Dogg performance before the fight was dope. And he only did like really good songs. So I think he did maybe like, not complete songs, but I think he did maybe like five different songs, maybe like a verse or two out of each one. But Cool performance. So the Jones, uh, the Tyson Jones fight starts, and um, basically it was kind of what you would have expected. Like it wasn't incredibly brutal, um, which I mean, some people might have expected that given Mike Tyson's involvement. But um, Tyson looked sharp, man. I was I was pretty impressed for, for fifty four. Um, he was fast. Uh, he was moving his feet well. He was moving his head well. He was landing some great body shots. This is a fight where I think if they hadn't clinched up so often or if they had longer rounds or more rounds, Tyson would have ultimately knocked him out. Um, it, it, it felt like it was going to happen. It didn't. But um, ultimately, the fight was ruled a draw, which is complete bullshit. Anybody with two eyes who watched this fight knows that Tyson won it. Um, I had Tyson winning every round, but um, I think it was kind of like a and, and this is one of the issues I have with boxing is that it feels so incredibly corrupt. Um, you, you know, you have people betting on this fight and they are, you know, you're, you're betting Tyson, you're betting Jones, you're putting up big money, right? And then you get a draw and nobody wins 
and this is not a draw. This was a fight where there was, to me, a very clear winner. Um, so, but, you know, I think boxing and, and MMA and combat sports in general, I think, have the worst fan base. Um, you got boxing purists out there who are just like, oh, yeah, this is, shit is stupid, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to watch this. It's not a big deal, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it makes them cool to uh, be so knowledgeable in boxing that they can stare down their nose at people who want to watch a 54-year-old Mike Tyson fight. Um, but it was still, it, it, it accomplished everything it needed to do. I'm pretty sure the pay-per-view sales are going to be off the charts. Um, just based on my own litmus test for how I can judge how, uh, how popular something is and how it's trending is the people who don't normally watch that thing talking about that thing. Um, and both my Facebook and Twitter feeds were completely overrun with, commentary on that fight. There were people who I've never seen talk about fights uh, that were watching that fight last night. So um, I, I, based upon that, I'm thinking we're probably going to see some pretty big pay-per-view buys. Secondly, it was entertaining as fuck, man. Like this, this was, you had a, a, a rap concert, you know, uh, uh, interspersed throughout these fights. You had good legitimate fights and then you had entertaining kind of like jokey ones. But um you know, I thought it was a really good event. You know, I, I saw people paying like, how these people paid fifty dollars for this event. These these idiots. I think they got their fucking money's worth. That's what I think. You got fifty bucks, man, and you got to see, uh, you know, you got the YG performance. You got the Snoop performance. Um, I I I know Wiz Khalifa. I think performed at it too. I just missed it, but um, you know, you got pretty famous rap stars performing at this. You get legitimate boxing. You get entertainment boxing. And at the end of the day, you know, you get to see two legends who never actually got the fight. Uh, you got to see them throw down. And it was it was entertaining for what it was worth. Like, uh, uh, if you were going in expecting to see Wilder Fury, then, yeah, you probably should have paid $50 for that. And you were probably disappointed. But if you went in expecting to see two old guys who are in significantly better shape than most people their age and who are trained in a sport uh, that most people are not trained in and who are considered legends and elite in that sport... Uh, th these two guys go at it. Uh, hey, you got what you paid for, and it was worth it. I, I would never, um, I would never say that that event wasn't worth fifty bucks. And then, so going forward, I know Tyson wants to do some more of these uh, with uh, possibly other legends. I know he said there's going to be like a pretty rigorous uh, testing policy, not, not not just testing for like PEDs, but like testing to just to see that if these legends are actually fit to compete, whether you know they won't hurt themselves. So um, th I can see a future for this. Uh, it, it's going to be difficult to book cards where you know you have legends of 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 the sport who are and I, I believe Tyson wants to do this with all sports not just boxing but who have legends who are legends of this sport that are still able and willing to compete at their present age um you know Tyson I heard Tyson interview he said he uh he, he was uh at his biggest he was 300 pounds he weighed in at uh I believe 220 for this fight so uh he lost a lot of weight uh, so, you know, a lot of people his age aren't going to have that level of commitment. So um, I don't know how successful it's going to be long term, but I think it's something that could be viable. If you, you, you throw in, you know, some 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 sort some form of entertainment, it doesn't even necessarily have to be rap. It doesn't even necessarily have to be music. It could be fucking uh, circus performers. I don't fucking know. But, you know, throw in some kind of entertainment in between the fights and book people that fans want to see. And people will pay for it. And I thought it was uh, worth it. I thought it was good. I thought it was a good time. I thought it was entertaining. It made me miss the UFC card that happened last night, which I'm going to go back and watch uh, possibly tonight after I finish this video. And uh, I'll do another video for, for that for that card. But um, yeah, all in all, man, um, if you guys can find a way to pull it up and watch it, it's a good time, man. You know, take, you know, get to, I, I, I was, you know, smoking my cigars, having my drinks. You know, get your cigars or whatever your vice is, whether it be weed, crack, I don't know, whatever the fuck you do. Get your, you know, get your vice, get your drink going. It's a good time, man. I, I, I don't know how, I think the event ran, I think till 1230 maybe. So about three and a half hours. Like, shit, that's worth it. So um, th two thumbs up for me. You know, I didn't get, you know, I didn't expect to see like, I didn't go in with any delusions of seeing the Mike Tyson of old, you know, just <laughs> reborn. But, you know, I went in, think I went in expecting to be entertained and I was. So um, check that out. I'll be back uh, shortly with a review of the latest episode of The Mandalorian, uh, the entire first season of the Saved by the Bell reboot, and the entire first season of The Queen's Gambit. 
All those coming soon, probably within the next two to three days. I'm going to spread those out. So um, enjoy, like and subscribe, comment, all that good shit. This is Facebook. Share it. If, if you're looking at this on YouTube, uh, subscribe, comment, like, all that good shit. Remember, I'm new to this. So uh, give me feedback, constructive feedback, because if you're an asshole, you're being an asshole to somebody who's way better at it than you are. So be careful what you say and how you say it. But uh, give me that feedback. Love to hear it. Peace.